all over the world. How are you all tonight? That's fantastic. Um, I'm Michael Madone, like he just stated, and he totally lied. I am not funny. That was a lie. Just kidding. I'm actually pretty funny. Um, my original plan when I came up here was uh, I was going to bring down the walls like Samson. I'm Michael, and a lot of people know me, and I really like baseball. A lot of people know that I love baseball, and uh, I really feel like God made the Bible around baseball, because in the first the three words of the Bible, it says, in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of baseball, do you know actually Cain was a pitcher? He really was. He threw a couple strikes at Abel, and he was out. <laughs> Okay, now that I saw you up with a joke. Uh, but um, the vineyard's a really great place. Uh, I came here when I was... Hey, when did we come here? The Madone family, right? Everyone, the Madone family is right there. What? I was six? Okay, I was six when I came to the vineyard. And there were some things about the vineyard I totally did not understand. I still don't. Uh, for example, during worship, um, a lot of people tend to like. <laughs> and me being only six, I thought they had a question. <laughs> and some people would like have both hands up. <laughs> thought they had two questions. Some people would like shake sporadically, like. <laughs> so I thought they were like really anxious to ask a question. <laughs> and uh, me being only six, I was thinking to myself, I was like, I really hope they have the same question that I do. <laughs> Who is Grace and why is she so amazing? <laughs> but there are some other things that just kind of freak me out about worship, and that's people just like freak out like this, like speak in tongues and it's freaky, it really is. Actually Thursday, one of my friends uh, at youth group, his name was Bradley, and we were doing, yeah, Bradley Hauser. Um, it was, we were doing some hardcore fellowship and uh, I was just kind of sitting down, getting with my inner Zen, talking to God, and uh, I just had my eyes closed, and I'm kind of like sitting, and I just heard this massive thud. And I look up, and there's Bradley sprawled out on the floor. And I was, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, he just died. He's dead. And Luke is just strumming on the guitar like nothing happened. No one, no one made an effort to help Bradley while he's on the ground. I tried giving him a wet willy, I'll be honest. <laughs> after I prayed for him. <laughs> but after he woke up, yes, he woke up, or whatever he got up, I asked him, I was like, hey, dude, what happened? He kind of just fell. He's like, you know, dude, I was just really, I was just really in with the Holy Spirit, and I felt him tugging me, and I fell. <laughs> And I go, are you sure? Because it really sounded like the Holy Spirit spark kicked you across the way. <laughs> like, I could see the Holy Spirit grabbing Bradley by the foot and just swinging him around the room, bashing the walls, the ceiling, and everything. And I could see Luke just strumming on his guitar. <laughs> but um, it was just funny. I... <laughs> It was either he got smart, kicked, or got clubbed in the head with a lead pipe, but it was cool. I don't know. But, uh, a couple weeks ago, I'm t totally sorry, last week, two weeks ago, at youth group, Luke was talking about uh, Jesus at the well with the Samaritan woman, and he was saying that Jesus was sarcastic. And me, I'm extremely sarcastic. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. But um, 
It was... I was thinking to myself, I mean, I'm so sarcastic, like my level of sarcasm is so advanced, people actually think I'm stupid. <laughs> like, they look at me like... <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. Totally agree with you. Stupid. But uh, he was talking about Jesus being sarcastic, and I was thinking to myself, if Jesus was as sarcastic as me, I wonder what that would look like. <laughs> Here's the scene. The Last Supper. Okay? They're all eating the blood of, the blood of Christ and the body of Christ. And Jesus stands up and goes, Tonight, one of you will betray me. And you see Peter looking up to him and saying, Jesus, is it me? No, Peter, it is not you. Simon going, is it me, Jesus? No, it is not you, Simon. Now you see Judas going, is it me, Jesus? And then Jesus looking at Judas and going, is it me, Jesus? <laughs> I can totally see Jesus doing that. I think that would be the coolest thing if I saw Jesus being that sarcastic. But do, do anyone here have that one extremely religious friend that asks you to go to community group, youth group, let's fellowship group, a whole bunch of different groups, and you want to go out on a night with the boys, and he's like, you know what, guys? Guys, for real, though, let's do some hardcore fellowship tonight. For real. This would be great, guys. Just a guy's night reading the book of Deuteronomy. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be a great night. I'm running out of material. <laughs> I did. It's quiet. Oh, got an idea. So, do you think that during prayer, Jesus gets kind of tired of hearing dear a lot, like dear Jesus, and all these really complex names like dear Alpha and Omega, dear Harbor of my salvation, dear the beginning and the end, dear everything in my life that I love, everything. Do you think he gets sick of that? Like, I can just see Jesus coming. Just like a half coming, I guess, not the second coming of Jesus Christ. And he's saying, you know what, guys? It's the 21st century. Email me. <laughs> and Jesus would give his email. I died for you at the <laughs> But I just feel like that's so funny. And I think it's funny how people use really complex names when referring to God, like salvation, harbor of my salvation stuff. One of my friends, Noah, he's in the back corner of one, let's make awkward eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. We were at youth group and he just goes, hey dad, how are you today? He's like actually having a real conversation with him, it's so funny. <laughs> But, um, I just want to make a real quick shout out to Jennifer Harrigan for making all that wonderful feel that you guys enjoyed, and along with everyone else who helped out. Thank you, all of you. And let's give one big round of applause to Mr. Lou Kennedy and Josh Lentz. Thank you, everybody. I hope you had a great night. There was